Welcome, Welcome back, back Mavericks. Mavericks. I'm Angela Nguyen. And I'm Wyatt Rude. And this is your Mavericks News Show. This year we have a brand new crew and brand new questions we ask students at Meadowdale. Well, let's go to Zara and Jacob in the field with the question of the day. Hey Mavs, it's that time of year again. Yeah, Halloween. Let's take a look at some of the spooky questions we have for you. What is your favorite part about Halloween? Uh, my favorite part is getting candy from strangers because it's really fun. My favorite thing about Halloween would ha have to be the being able to hang out with friends and go just trick-or-treating and staying out later with them than having to sit at home like any other day. My favorite thing about Halloween would be all the candy, dressing up, staying out late. Uh, what I like most about Halloween is probably the Halloween parties and um, everyone just getting dressed up and having a good time. Trick or treat for sure. I love it. It's like when you get all the good candy and stuff. Like not when you go to the lamb houses with where they give you like little mint stuff. It's lamb. What is your favorite costume? Uh, Spider Man, because Spider Man's really awesome when he shoots webs out of his hands. Um, I would say just something really scary but yet creative at the same time because something that you haven't seen because it would just be different than anything else. The Jersey Shore cast costumes. Best Halloween costume would be dressing up like as a Teletubby or a dinosaur. Best Halloween costume is probably um, the surgeon um, that had kind of an accident. <laughs> The, the scream one because every little kid has it. So what are you going to do this year, Mavs? Trick or treat? Back to the studio. So what's your favorite thing about Halloween, Wyatt? I like carving pumpkins. What about you? That's my favorite thing too. But you're a girl. Don't you just like dressing up in costumes or something? Stop being so stereotypical. You should know that not all girls are the same. What do you mean? Let's have Kelsey and Sherilyn do the talking. Hi Mavs, my name is Sherilyn Wentz and this is our first episode on stereotyping. The first episode is about how girls stereotype each other. Let's take a look. Stereotyping is being kind of prejudiced and judging people beforehand. Well, girls stereotype each other because of jealousy, because or because of what they wear, what they look like, and they're jealous so when they're insecure about their own features, they take it out on others. I just think it's like girls judging other girls, like looking at them at like a first glance and then like in their head figuring out just who they are or who they think they are. Typing is when people judge each other by their clothes and how they look. How do you feel when you're stereotyped? I feel, when I get stereotyped, I feel judged and it's really rude. Uh, I don't know, people don't really say anything to my face, so I don't really, I don't really hear about it. <laughs> How do girls stereotype other girls? Um, girls can get pretty ugly with that stuff. Like, you can just look at someone and just not even know them and judge them based off their makeup or their hair or how orange they are. Mm -hmm. That concludes our first video in the series for stereotyping. Tune in next month to watch our video for racial stereotyping. Back to the studio. Students, remember the counseling center is always open. All you have to do is make an appointment with the counselor. Look at the time. I think I'm going to be late. Late to what? I'm getting tailored in a black and orange Halloween suit. Check you out, Mr. Sway. Well, thank you. But I'm not the only one with swag on my tag. Hello, Mavs. I'm Andy. And I'm Oliver. And, and we're, we're Student, student swag. swag. Student Swag is a new show where we interview our students on their style and what clothes they wear. In this episode, we're going to interview your classmates on what they're wearing for Halloween. Yeah. So Joe, what are you going to wear for Halloween? Well, probably a leprechaun outfit or something like that. But if I could have any costume I wanted, I would probably do a big burrito with a sombrero. So what are you going to wear for Halloween? I'm going to be a bumblebee. Uh, I'm thinking about being a sexy police officer. What are you going to be for Halloween? A ghost. I'm going to be Alabama. Yeah. I'm going to be a mile. I'ma represent my city, a mile. So, what are you wearing for Halloween, Dustin? I'm wearing a Pooh Bear costume. I'm gonna be a nurse. I'm gonna be Waldo. We went to the Halloween store to interview the store clerks. Let's see what they said. So, what is the most popular Halloween costume? Uh, probably 
Angry Birds. I know we sell a lot of Gaga stuff. Um, Jersey Shore is also really popular. Um, has the recession changed the amount of people who purchase Halloween costumes here? Definitely. Uh, about two years ago, people were spent like the numbers from for this day last year uh, is about twenty percent less. Um, is there less uh, Halloween parties that are happening because of the recession? You know, I don't think there's going to be less parties per se, because I think that during times like this, people need uh, recreational activity. People need to ha be happy and have excitement, things to take their mind off of it. Um, so I don't think there's going to be less activity. I just know that people are going to be a little bit um, less likely to purchase the more expensive things, which makes sense, because, you know, less money in your hands, less money in your pocket, less money you're able to spend. Makes just makes sense. All right, cool. All right, thank you. You betcha. Stay swagged. Have a nice Halloween. Back to the studio. All right. I'm sorry, Angela. I didn't mean to offend you. It's okay. I forgive you. I'm so glad we resolved this issue. Speaking of issues, you'd be surprised at what students have to deal with. Here's Sean coming out of the counselor's corner. Welcome to our new segment, the counseling corner. In this segment, we will be covering various issues that affect high school students, such as academics, economics, relationships, and family issues. Today, we are taking a look at bullying. Um, so the type of issues and situations that we see in the counseling office most of the time are Oh gosh, a range of things. Anything from kids dealing with friendship issues to boyfriend-girlfriend issues to family, things going on at home with their family to things related to school. So how do I feel about bullying? Um, I think it makes me disappointed and kind of frustrated because I know it's something that started forever ago and nobody's done much about. I don't really see bullying here, but I don't think it's very good. So I think bullying is kind of a big issue here, but it's just not very talked about at our school. It's kind of shoved under the covers. So. I don't really see bullying at Meadowdale that much, but if it were to start happening more often, I'd definitely try and be a part of it to stop it. When I was bullied, I, I usually had to defend myself uh, because I didn't, I didn't really see any anyone else being able to do anything about it, so I kind of just had to defend it for myself. So other students and staff, when you see issues of teasing, bullying, things going on that you are aware of, obviously we want our staff to be very well aware. We want them to be aware in the classrooms and stop things that they see and they do a good job of that. We want um, them to be able to talk to a student one-on-one -on -one privately if they feel like there's something going on and they need to talk about it. And if, if they feel it's a big issue, like if a staff member, they'll call us and say, hey, I think this is going on in the classroom. Can you check in with your student, kind of take it from there? Recent statistics show that 160,000 students a day don't come to school for fear of being bullied. Students, remember that the Counseling Center is located in the Administration Office and all you have to do is make an appointment. Once you go into a counseling door, you come out knowing a whole lot more. Stay tuned for next month's show. Back to the studio. Well, that concludes today's show. Thanks for tuning in, Mavs. If you're going trick-or-treating, remember to be safe. Don't talk to strangers and brush your teeth. See, See you, you next time. time. Our Metadell News Show will be showing one film a month from our great kids from the advanced intro film production class. This month, we have the one-minute film Get Active by Sydney Lovin and Annie Childs.